In the previous video, you have watched how to convert file to base64. In this video, I will show you how should you do. If you haven't watched previous video, this video is still for you. I have written lines of code. The first line is for reading file to byte array. Second line is for encoding byte to base64 string and third is for printing a string on console why did i tell you this is not a good way let me show you i have added an image that is more than 10 mb and let's calculate how much time it take for encoding 10 mb dot jpg start time Get time it's in time now calculate total time and print on console so, so total time is in time minus start time you can see it took more than 400 millisecond in the meanwhile your screen may get freeze or you can see unresponsive alert that's why we should not encode in main thread in this video we are going to create our own base64 encoder class so first of all let's create a class base64 and create a interface that is on complete listener and add a method on complete Our own complete listener is ready. Base64 and add encode method to K64. Public static wide encode. It will take two parameter. First is string path and second on complete listener we encode in separate thread so let's create a thread new thread i am using lambda function copy the whole code from main to base 64 And you will try catch and replace to path. Clear the code and I'll add a line listener dot on complete page sixty four issue. Now our encoder is ready. Now come to main.java file and try to encode using our encoder. So page64.encode 
path is 10 md dot jpg and on complete listener new on complete listener print the result and let's see our code is working or not it is not working because we have not started thread so start thread and let's run again now you can see base 64 string printed on console we have successfully implemented our base 64 encoder